Hi, this is Ivan Kovacev from Audio Grocery. In the next video, I'm going to show you some tips in creating a large articulation preset for Web Multi instance. Here we go. First, let's load this Web Instance Factory preset. Note there are only 15 contact instruments because MIDI channel 16 is assigned as a global channel in the Tutti sector. If you don't need the Tutti channel, then you can insert another contact instance and assign its input to MIDI channel 16. This new setup obliges you to disable the global MIDI channel in all contact instances like this. For the sake of this demo, I'll load this Spitfire Symphonic Strings multi preset into the contact. Look, I have inserted all first violins individual patches into contact A, B, and C ports. All individual patches are set to incremental MIDI channel order starting from channel 1 in my case. I have created this large articulation preset in XDRAW where the first key switch is set to G8 and the key switch velocity assignments are set according to the MIDI channel number of the corresponding single patch articulation. I'll show the second key switch overview here to let you know about a little exception. Note, there are a few legato patches which are not offered as individual ones. That's why I have inserted the legato performance palette four times here. This method obliges me to assign a second key switch which will recall the correspondent multi-patch after the MIDI channel switching powered by the first key switch. I'll start a new project in XDAW to show you how to create an articulation map preset easily for this contact multi. The new XDAW OCR utility will speed up the procedure a lot. The text conversion looks good at first glance. There are a few capitalization errors only, that's why I enabled this option here to fix that. Fine, let's copy and paste the articulation names to the XDRAW editor. I'll duplicate the last articulation map by pressing the D key command to be able to create maps for the Legato Performance palette. Now, I'll edit the legato names according to the correspondent articulations. Note, I'll select a few pixels more around the articulation names, which will improve the OCR utility precision. Fine, the text conversion looks good, so I'll paste the names to the XDRAW. The articulation maps have been auto-selected after the last pasting, so I can assign the first key switch to note G8. Now I'll set the velocity value to number 1, which will be printed to all maps in the selection. Finally, I'll hold down the Option computer key and will click the upper arrow to increase the velocity multi-selection assignments.
done. I could set the first and second key switches of all maps for seconds. It is a good idea to assign some articulation group colors, which will be shown in Cubase and Logic later. I'll name this XDOR project as a Spitfire Symphonic First Violins All and we'll store it. Let's save the project as a logic articulation set now. The Cubase users must switch to Cubase mode here and save the project as a Cubase expression map preset. Note, it is possible to switch all maps to attribute or directional type according to your needs. It is also possible to shift select or command select several maps and set the articulation type accordingly. Let's have a look at the exported logic articulation set. Look, all output assignments have a velocity key switch G8 in this case, and only the performance legatos have a second key switch which number is set according to the correspondent multi-patch. Web multi instance architecture is fed by a door multi timbral instrument, so I'll use MIDI channel 1 for the Spitfire first violins in my example. Let's audition the articulations. Fine, all patches of contact port A and port B are switched as expected. By the way, Web Multi Instance comes with complete Cubase and logic articulation templates where you only have to type patch names according to your instrument patch order. Even that, the XDRAW owning will speed up your workflow offering all sorts of automatic articulation maps creation and batch editing. Thanks for watching this video.